So hi everyone, um, I'm Andreas. I'm one of the co-founders of Fivers.io, um, along with uh, VJ, who just presented at Falcon Orbit. Actually, he's uh, he's based in India, so it was uh, quite a nice opportunity to meet everyone and present the project. And Konstantin, who's uh, based in Singapore, who's kind of our everything wizard, and myself, I'm based in uh, Oxford where I'm also doing my uh, PhD on the side, but my real passion is Fiverr's. So Fiverr's is a DAP. Um, it's about making privacy and decentralization easy for everyone, uh, specifically in the context of uh, file sharing and online collaboration. So I'll get right into uh, what that means. The problem we're trying to solve can be summarized as online collaboration is not future-proof, most of the apps that you use today for online collaboration do not have privacy. There is, they lock you in and it's really difficult to exit those apps, at least with your data. There is almost no composability between those apps. And this is a pretty dire state of affairs. So for a general audience, this translates to some endemic issues in their favorite apps like Google Workspace, WeTransfer, Dropbox, etc which are intrusive advertisement, privacy invasions, um, server outages, censorship, etc. And for a Web3 specific uh, audience, this translates to Web3 not really providing a true internet experience to uh, people uh, that follow the space. So uh, in my opinion, that means that uh, crypto wallets are underutilized, uh, users are locked into this vicious cycle of purely financial speculative applications with high risk transactions, high barriers to entry uh, with regards to technical knowledge needed and a general bad user experience. And if you look at most teams today, everyone is using centralized file storage and collaboration tools when they uh, you know, want to collaborate on some documents or whatever with their team or their communities. So uh, our solution here is uh, can be summarized as um, uh, bringing privacy and decentralization for file sharing and online collaboration in just a few clicks. So again, for a general audience, this means that you'll have like the ease of use of Google Workspace, but with a robust uh, P2P infrastructure and on-chain data integrity. It's a three-click setup, it's privacy preserving, it's end-to-end -end encrypted, it has full data portability and, inter in, and interoperability, um, and some other cool options that are features that I'll show you later. And for the Web3 specific audience, that means that uh, we're bringing a private and intuitive on-chain tool for collaboration for on-chain individuals and communities. That means that we're really abstracting away the complexities of on-chain interactions, peer-to-peer -peer storage, content addressing, and self-certification. So uh, the way we wanted to start this, we started in April, uh, was to really do it bottoms up. And we decided to do it through the biggest funding and building event uh, in Web3, that is Gitcoin. We started on uh, Gitcoin 13, and it was an absolute uh, success. 43% uh, of all donors on Gitcoin that round donated to Fileverse, and we were absolutely over the moon. We were uh, the top four, uh, the fourth top project uh, in terms of uh, traffic out of 2000 projects on Gitcoin. We received $67,000 in donations in less than two weeks. And that made us one of the most successful first time Gitcoin grants. And we were really, really happy about that uh, as a free and open source DAP. Um, by the end of GR13, we launched Falver Solo, which is uh, your equivalent to a uh, we transfer if you want but something that you can like a we transfer that you can experience with encryption which we transfer doesn't have and from your wallet if you want there is also the option for someone that doesn't have a wallet to uh, have the full we transfer experience but by using uh, ipfs 
Uh, it's super easy, super intuitive. I'll show you a, a demo real quick after. And it's accessible to really everyone. Uh, how is going today? Uh, we have over 13,000 donors. We're still one of the top five projects on every Gitcoin round since April. Uh, we've got some uh, amazing public recognition from uh, developer DAO, Gnosis Chain, Near, Gitcoin Down, uh, etc. We've had over 5,250 unique users uh, since the launch of uh, the beta at the end of April, um, and some really cool collaboration uh, collaborations coming up. One of which with uh, Pentacle and some others that uh, I'll keep secret for now. Uh, in the latest uh, Gitcoin round, Gitcoin round 15. We we got some funding from uh, the Polygon track, the A16Z track, ENS, Aurora, uh, and Filecoin. We were pretty happy also uh, uh, that we uh, that we ranked second in the A16Z uh, round, which was all about uh, open source crypto infrastructure. Um, so getting that recognition was really amazing for us. Um, now, uh, why are we doing this now? Uh, I know this is a bit wordy, but uh, I'll summarize it. We like to say that if Google Workspace, the team behind Google Workspace had started in 2022, this is what they would have built uh, for three main reasons. One, we see crypto wallets as kind of a rebirth of public key cryptography. Uh, you have over 100 million uh, people using their crypto wallets. That means they know and use their public and private keys. And this unlocks amazing opportunities that were available si since the time of uh, PGP, but there was never the adoption that allowed it to happen. Um, there is a tech stack maturity over the past five years. Layer twos have developed properly, uh, zero knowledge proofs, uh, EVM adoption has really skyrocketed and so, and things like social recovery have just improved amazingly the uh, experience for, uh, for users, especially for non-Web3 native users, which, which is a crowd we're really trying to appeal to. Uh, the last reason is Web3 social components. So anything from content addressing to social graphs to DIDs, VCs, access tokens, peer-to-peer uh, -peer notifications, those things are finally coming, uh, coming live and are becoming easier to integrate. And this is really an opportunity to, to shape the next cycle uh, of adoption around non-financial, non-speculative applications in Web3. And we're trying to really um, lead the way on that. This is Fileverse Solo. The beta is already out since uh, April. Please feel free to uh, uh, to scan it. Uh, it's super simple. You can try it with your wallet, without your wallet. With your wallet, you can do some cool on-chain um, minting and distribution of access tokens to, to allow some people and others not uh, to access your, your files or your private chat rooms. Uh, and this is something that is coming out very soon. Uh, we're almost ready. We're, we're having a, a private uh, beta phase at the moment. It's called Fileverse Portal, and it is really the fully on-chain, uh, fully end-to-end encrypted, and uh, our way of competing with Google Workspace and telling the whole space that, hey guys, you don't need to use uh, Google or Microsoft Office anymore. We can build that with uh, Web3 stack, and this is what you can do with it. So this is just an image, but um, it gives you an idea of uh, how it will look. You can make your files public, private, or token gated. You can... Um, create and distribute your own access NFTs or like access co-ops, uh, give them a name, an image, and distribute them to thousands of people to give them access to different folders or uh, files. You can upload any type of file. You can uh, uh, share a whiteboard with uh, some collaborators and in, or just a, a doc, a bit like in Google Docs. And instead of seeing, you know, uh, that uh, 
Alice and Bob are uh, collaborating with you live right now on your document or in your whiteboard or chatting with you, you'll have OX1732 or uh, josh.eth uh, collaborating with you live uh, on that. And it's pretty cool. It keeps track of uh, visitors, of members who have uh, who are collaborating with you with end-to-end -end encryption, the amount of files you have, you can create, you can have some other analytics, you can customize this quite a bit and even see your page as a member. So somebody who doesn't have full access uh, to your portal, which you can think of as kind of a Google workspace or Microsoft uh, uh, office. So this is it. Uh, please scan the QR code if you want to learn more about it. Um, so Fowler Solo is already out. That's the WeTransfer uh, alternative that I told you about. And Fowler Sporto is coming out very soon. And we're really super excited about it. And yeah, uh, please donate on the next Gitcoin round. <laughs>